So if you have upper body or lower body goals, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, do you have kids? Do you have a job? What do you have to do after work? Do you cook dinner? Do you do homework? Hey you guys, welcome back to my video. If you are new here, hi, my name is T and I'm going to help you create a soft life as, as I'm still working on my own soft life. Recently, I've started, um, not recently, it's been about three years since I've been um, into fitness. Um, I would say the last year and a half has been more consistent um than the first year and a half but i've created this i figured out how somehow to consistently inconsistently work out <laughs> i have my own personal schedule um it's not really consistent but it is so i just wanted to share those tips with you so some of the things that you can do to stay motivated to you know get the body that you want is number one plan 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 schedule figure out where you can fit it in in your schedule while you're planning you have to if you don't have a lot of time to um go out to the gym you have to be open to working out at home you know you might have kids you might have you know work from home that you need to get done try to plan it in at home so a lot of the times i'm working out at home um and so what i do since I do have a four-year-old, I work a full-time job, and I'm trying to do YouTube consistently, um, I work out at home. So when I'm home, I'm doing upper body because I know that my goal is just to tone my upper body, and I don't really need heavy weights for that. So at home, I do upper body, and then when I don't have my son, when he's not with me, I go to the gym, and I do lower body for strength training. Um, and so that's how I've worked it out for my schedule. But you have to think about your schedule um, when you're free. I would say use your free time to go to the gym and your at-home time to work out those areas that don't necessarily need um, heavy weights. Tip number two, watch YouTube videos. Um, I recommend it in my video about um, the journey to... In my video, How to Create a Healthy Hair Regimen, I told you YouTube University. YouTube University is my go-to. It has always been my go-to. I've learned so much from YouTube. Um, so watch some YouTube videos. If you're like, okay, I can work out at home, but where do I start? What do I do? Hello, honey. Search on YouTube. If you want to work on upper body, back. I just looked up some back videos for at home. Work, you know, I just looked up some at home workouts for back videos the other day and um my back is sore <laughs> my upper and lower back is sore so yeah youtube the videos um for the workouts that you are looking for for whatever part of the body that you want to work out tip number one plan and schedule think about your lifestyle whatever it is you have to do on a daily basis whatever is your norm try to implement 20 to 30 minutes throughout that schedule um, for some fitness workouts, whatever your goal is. So you have to think about what your normal schedule is. Do you have kids? Do you have a job? What do you have to do after work? Do you cook dinner? Do you do homework? And think about the free time that you have around that, that where you're either laying across the bed. I know that's hard to give up. <laughs> that's one that I love. But laying across the bed, watching TV, watching your shows. See if you can take 20 to 30 minutes of that time to work out. So you have to think about the schedule that you have. And you have to think about the 20 or 30 minutes that you can fit throughout your weekend. I would say two to three times a week is a great start. Tip number two, YouTube University. I personally graduated YouTube with a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Because I learned so much and I still learn so much from YouTube. I learned about my natural hair um, from YouTube about six years ago. For, for the past like six years, I've been learning about natural hair. And I know 90% of what I know from YouTube about natural hair. Um, but fitness, there's so much you can learn about fitness on YouTube. So YouTube, the videos, 
based on your goals. So if you have upper body or lower body goals, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, search that in YouTube. Find the video. Tip number three, be open to working out at home or in the gym. So based on whatever your schedule is, right? I go to the gym on the days where I don't have my four-year-old son. When he's not home, I go to the gym because that's where I can focus on my strength training and do a lot of the heavier lifting. But when I do have him, I do workouts at home, just kind of like cardio or just upper body because my upper body, I'm just toning. I'm not, I don't need heavy weights. So I have a couple weights at home, dumbbells and some um, like 10 pounders and then a 40 pounder. And I use that for my upper body. But when it comes to the days that I'm able to go to the gym, that's when I go to the gym and I do strength training. So be open to working out at home or in the gym based on your schedule and based on your goals. Whatever it is that you need to work out for that day, YouTube your videos to match your schedule and to match your goals. So on Tuesday, I want to work out my upper body at home. I'm going to YouTube toning upper body at home workouts. Boom thousands of videos <laughs> thousands of videos i'm probably being dramatic but it's probably about a thousand anyway a lot of videos po uh, pop up so use youtube to help you figure out what to work out um either at home or in the gym tip number four buy yourself some cute outfits if you can you know um i was motivated early on by purchasing some really cute gym outfits um i purchased some in the First, it was the fall, I think, when I first started working out. Actually, it was COVID when I first really started trying to be consistent with working out. Um, but then the summertime came and I bought me some summertime outfits. And then I would just wear it. Like, I would just wake up and just wear it one day because it's cute. And then just end up in the gym and I'm already dressed for it. But I think that that's a good motivator if you're like, you know, if you get cute, then you're really... You're going to go in there prancing, prancing in the gym, being cute, but you're there, right? The first step is actually getting your foot in the door. So if you can get some outfits um, to work out in, a good place to start is Amazon. Tip number five, take some before pics. Um, take some pictures of where you are before you're starting. So if you know you're about to go on a two or three month um, journey, fitness journey, and you're going to be working out consistently Take a picture at the start of, you know, that that month and then maybe every week take pictures of yourself in the same position to kind of see the progress that you're making over time. That's going to help you stay motivated because it might not feel like you're making any progress, but after like four to six weeks, you're going to start seeing, you know, progress. So take pictures. Tip number six. Go to your social media platforms and follow fitness gurus, fitness trainers. You're going to learn so much from them on social media. Social media is like a double-edged sword. It's a gift and a curse. It's positives and it's negatives. But the positives are you have so much education right there at your hands. Follow your gurus. Look at their stories. They always post what I eat in a day. <laughs> I follow the women that I dream to look like one day. And I look to see what they're eating. And I eat those things. And I look at the workouts that they do and I try to do those workouts, right? And so um, I use that as motivation for myself. We don't have to look at, you know, you don't have to see those things and feel like, oh, I can never do that. Because sometimes social media can do that. People present what they want to present on social media. And sometimes we can compare ourselves and get down on ourselves. But change your mindset. Think of it as a motivation. Think of it as if they can do it, so can I. Why can't I do it? What makes them different from me? Except that they're being consistent, right? If you are consistent, you can, you know, have the, the, the dream body or the dream just health that you want. Follow those fitness gurus, those fitness trainers, watch their story. The more and more I did that, I learned so much more about, you know, my, my, my calorie intake and um, how I needed to work out certain exercises that would focus on certain parts of my body that I wanted to focus on. Even before I was ready to actually step foot in the gym, I was watching those videos. And then once I got to the gym, I kind of was a little bit... Um, you know, knowledgeable on some of the machines and some of the things that they had in the gym. Tip number seven, set fitness goals. So once you follow these gurus and these fitness um, trainers, you're ideally going to follow the people that you want to look like or that you want to learn something from. So once you're following them, set your own personal goals. 
do you want to lose 10 pounds in the next however many months or do you want to gain um however many pounds over the next however amount of time for me personally I know that I can squat 90 pounds, which isn't a lot, but I want to get to 150 eventually. But for my goal right now, it's, it's um 100. I want to be able to squat, squat 100 pounds over the next maybe like week or two. So set goals that are reachable for you and re um, reasonable, realistic, realistic. Set goals that are realistic for you so that as you're taking these pictures, you can see whether or not you're meeting these goals. Or as you consistently go to the gym, you can see whether or not you are meeting the goals. And you can keep pushing yourself to stay uh, to meet those goals. Tip number eight, download some apps that can be useful for you. So for myself, I knew that um, when I was when I first started getting into fitness and working out, I didn't really know a lot of workouts to do. And so there was YouTube, but sometimes I got bored with YouTube. Sometimes I wanted something a little different. So I had this app on my phone called Fit On. Um, and Fit On is just amazing. It's free. There is a um, paid subscription if you want like some extra features, but I didn't even need that. Um, when I just had the free version, I was able to type in my weight, my height, and my goals. And then they had all these different types of workouts that I could click on for specific parts of my body. So if I wanted to do a yoga stretch that day for 20 minutes, you can set how long you want the workout to be. You can set the intensity. You can set the focus um, part of body, the part of body that you want to focus on. It's amazing. And they give you different videos for your specific needs that, you know, that day or that time. So I used the app called Fit On. And then I also had this other app because I knew that I was trying to gain weight and Eating, bulking um, was not was not normal for me. Um, I just wasn't eating enough, so I had to download this app, and it helped me um, kind of like gauge my calories and tell whether or not I was eating enough that day if I had eaten enough. I can't remember the name of the app, but if you write in the comment that you want the name of the app, I'm going to look at the name up, and I'll put it in the comment or in the subscription uh in the description um section but there was an app that i used to help um help me kind of stay on track with what i what my goals were and what i was taking in what i was eating each day if you want to lose weight it's going to tell you whether you're eating too much <laughs> right so use apps to help you last but not least this is number nine i know i said i was going to do eight but i just wanted to throw this one in there if you're someone like me who loves music and is motivated by music. If music makes you feel good, find ways to implement music into your um, your regimen, whether it's playing music while you're working out at home. I'll throw YouTube on. So what I used to do was um, I would have the app on my phone with the, <laughs> with the workout that I was doing on my phone, and then I would turn YouTube on my TV to play music, and so that way I was working out and I had music as well. Um, at the gym, I always take my phone and my ear airpods um so that i can listen to music and i really zone out when i'm at the gym like i'll be there all by myself i don't care who else is there i'm zoned out when i go to the gym and it's so refreshing <clears throat> it's really like therapy it really does the body good but anyway so yes those were my tips to how to stay fitness motivated if you have any that work for you let me know i listen we gotta help each other out Right now, I'm pretty motivated, but I do have my moments. I'm not going to lie. It's every now and then, I have my moments where I don't feel like going to the gym. In a month, might go by. That hasn't happened in a little while, but it's happened for sure. Let me know what your tips are to stay motivated to fitness in general. And I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I post a video. Thank you. See y'all. Bye.